Hi, in this tutorial we will be learning how to create this futuristic structure, how to set geometry nodes, set up materials, create texture, set environment and many more. I created this animation just using a laptop without any GPU, so you guys can support me on Patreon. Project files will be available there. Let's start by deleting everything. Go to Edit, Preferences, Add-on, Search Add Mesh Extra Objects. Enable it. Now shift A. There are extra mesh. Add a single vert. We are in edit mode. We can now extrude it as we want. So let's start. Numpad 7 for top view. And create the geometry you want. Select both and click F to fill. Select all and extrude on the Z axis and create a 3D building like object. Scale down and press F to fill. This surface is flat. Add a loop cut and grab it outside. Make sure every point is visible from the top. Now I have created an entrance to go inside by just extruding a face. Now let's go to Geometry Notes. Shift it to add a subdivision surface. Increase the division times. Now add a mesh to the curve node. And one thing. I extruded the top surface inside the building to add more geometry. OK now come back. Now add a curve to the mesh node. But nothing happened. So we need to add a profile curve. So add a curve circle. And decrease the radius to 0 0.02 or 3. Now we need the faces as before for window panels, so add a join geometry. And join it to the subdivision surface. Now we got them, but we want some random faces. So let's delete some faces. Add a delete geometry. It will delete them all, but we want to delete some randoms, so add a random value. And add to selection. Change the float to boolean. Now set the probability as numbers of panels. Now back to the layout tab. I created these materials white and blue. Back to geometry node. Let's set the materials for both pipes and panels. So add a set material node. And shift D to duplicate and place it here. Now select the materials white for pipes and blue for panels. Go to material preview mode. In the render preview mode, I added a light. Go to world properties. Change it to an environment texture and open a HDRI background. But I don't want to see the background. So go to render properties, film and transparent. Set world properties volume to principled volume. Lower the density. It will create fog. You can change the HDRI strength and density level. 
Now let's add texture to the ground. Select the plane and go to the shading tab. Add a Voronoi texture and a bump node. Add normal to normal and color to height and color to roughness. Increase the scale to make it smaller. Change it to a dark color. I will adjust it a little to look better. Now I will import a car I have downloaded for free. Link will be in the description. Now add a camera and position it at the entrance to the building. I will divide the screen like this for better work. Now select the camera and press I then rotation, location and scale to add a keyframe. Then move the camera, then I to insert another keyframe. Now tab space to run. As before, move the camera then insert keyframes and an animation will be created. But, the camera may not focus perfectly to the point. Then you can add an empty. I will rename it. Select the camera. Add object constraint. Track to. Then select the empty. Now the camera will always focus on the empty. But we have to animate and keyframe both of them. So I will keyframe them. I have added some more cars. Now let's do the final touches. Added some lights. Change the color of light. You can give it a yellowish color for a dusty look. But I will add bluish color for a fog-like environment. Let's add a color ramp between roughness and Voronoi texture. Now you can control the reflection amount. Nice, I think this is enough. Though you can play as much as you want. Thanks.